Let's talk about measuring water potential in the field. In my hands, I have a tensiometer. It has a 0.5 kilopascal accuracy, and it's a beautiful piece of German engineering. But even the best tensiometers are a challenge to maintain. They'll cavitate in the field, so it takes a lot of maintenance time to actually get good measurements. Now in my hands, I have Decagon's old matrix potential sensor, the MPS2. It's not just a low maintenance sensor, it's a no maintenance sensor. All you have to do is just bury it in the soil and you'll still be getting water potential measurements 10 years later. Its accuracy is plus or minus 25% of the reading. And I know what you're thinking, that's pretty bad. But hold on a second. Most matrix sensors out there don't even publish an accuracy specification. And even if a sensor does publish an accuracy specification, they're very difficult to verify because often in the region we're interested in, especially this area of plant available water, there are really no standards by which we can test it. Still, plus or minus 25% of the reading, we're simply not happy with that. So in the last 10 years, we've been continuously trying to develop a better water potential sensor, and we've put some serious time into trying to make it more accurate. This has really been the focus of a lot of our development in this area. In this process, we've had two main challenges. The first was to identify a standard and then find a way to calibrate all our sensors to that standard. Second was, how do we take the standard that we developed in our soils lab and introduce it into production where they could use that to make sensors that we could ship to everybody else? I know what you're thinking, why don't we just calibrate these sensors in a pressure plate? And we did, we started there for years and years. Pressure plates and more pressure plates, high pressure, low pressure, well, you can take it from me that pressure plates are not a solution to this calibration problem. One day we had a brainwave. Why don't we attach our sensors to a CNC mill where we could spin them around and create centrifugal force such that we create a constant water potential in the MPS2 sensors? Well, it turned out that didn't work either. We spent almost a decade reading the literature, testing out new ideas, brainstorming with each other on how to make this measurement, and we've endured a lot of failures on the way. And finally, we came up with a method that made all our dreams of production calibration process a reality. So this is the MPS-6, a low cost, low maintenance, research grade matrix water potential sensor. It has a water potential range of negative nine to negative 100,000 kilopascals. And I'm excited to say that it has an accuracy of plus or minus 10% in the plant usable range. If you need better accuracy than that, prepare to love a tensiometer because no other field water potential sensor is even gonna come close.